85 directors of all 25 savings and loans companies in Ghana have been taken through corporate governance training as directed by the Bank of Ghana following the financial sector cleanup. The capacity building is aimed at better positioning the savings and loan sector for sustainability and protect depositors. The practical corporate governance training program examined current best practice in all aspects of corporate governance including directors' responsibilities and powers to best implementation of governance in day-to-day -day activities. The training, as directed by the central bank, must be run by a BOG acknowledged and certified entity. The rationale of the corporate governance training for directors of savings and loans companies is to ensure directors are abreast with the laws and regulations of the industry and share ideas to shape their various functions. Florence Hopudu is the managing director at Pepo Almod Consulting. Not that we are saying the person is not qualified or doesn't know anything, but it only makes sense that when you add more values to the person, the person can also contribute effectively to your decision making and will enhance the value of your business. Corporate governance is about policies, it's about directives, about um, all the structures. But the one thing cannot be taught in class, which is the behavioral aspect of governance which is personal governance, and it's got a lot to do with integrity. So um, we want to urge directors that behind all this training, they should put integrity first. Executive Secretary of Ghana Association of Savings and Loans Companies, Chinebua Kodria Buache, noted the need for stronger financial institutions. We're expecting that they will continue to discharge their duties um, prudently. They will continue to upgrade themselves. They will continue to serve the interests of depositors. We also continue to assure the public that um, the remaining 25 savings and loans companies continuously have the interest of the depositor at heart. Board member of Equity Savings and Loans, John Dacon, shared his experience. And even though I'm a lawyer, uh, the training has opened my mind and my eyes to a lot of issues that uh, I hadn't adverted my mind to. So. It's been a great experience and I hope that uh, it will continue. In some countries such as Tanzania, corporate governance training for players of the financial sector are run by their central banks. Very, very relevant, very useful and suitable for our context. And I think it should be encouraged. It's interesting because in other banks, in some other countries have worked. It's even organized by the central bank just to reinforce the importance of such a training and probably extend it to another level to include the ESCO level. The central bank gave an end of March deadline for the training to be completed.